a community center. Well, that sounds fun, a place to talk about politics. Oh, that doesn't sound fun anymore. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today, checking out Of Life and Land. So there I was, minding my own business one day, having a little bit of a YouTube channel, and this email popped up. It said, hey, we've got this game called Of Life and Land. It's sort of a colony builder thing. At least I think that's what the email said. I kind of glossed over a lot of that. I just heard colony builder and said, eh, yeah, that sort of sounds like the sort of game I'd put on the channel. Yeah, you can send me along a key to that. That'd be cool. I'll put that up on the channel. And then I got the key and I looked at the game and I looked at it again. And I said, huh, this seems familiar. Why do I, why do I feel like I've been here before? I looked at it again, I thought, wait a minute, Th this is Circle of Krizovan. I've done this before. Look, here's the deal, I have hundreds and hundreds of games in my Steam library, and I've put quite a few of them on the channel. I can't possibly be expected to remember every single game I've ever put on this channel, especially when they change the title of it. But here we are, I accepted the key in good grace, and I'm, I'm going to do a video on it, but... I'm pretty sure I've already done a video on this. In fact, it says right down there, Kurzovan. This is Circle of Kurzovan. I've been here. I've done this. This is like weird deja vu. Now, let me apologize in advance if the screen is slightly stretched. Of Life and Land, or Circle of Kurzovan, however you choose to remember it, has been annoyingly reluctant to record. It has been defiant, some might say. It has been temperamental. And the only way i found to record it is to stretch the screen just slightly. So I do apologize in advance if some elements of the screen are cut off in any way. I, I've done the best that I could with this, and I almost, I almost gave up. But you know me, I'm no quitter. If I was, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel for this long. And as I've been here and done this before, I'm going to completely blow off the tutorial. Yeah, this is the game with the sheep. This is, this is the one where the sheep steal all the food. They come in and just eat everything. I've got some guys down here. Hey, team, how are we doing? Sylvia. Sylvia, come and talk to me. You don't have anywhere to sleep. You're right, you don't. I bet you really want that. Yeah, what, what is your problem over here? You need some rags. Okay, so you're naked and you, you're homeless. And my sheep just stole food. The sheep are already in. I'm 30 seconds into this game. The sheep are already stealing food. What do I have access to right now? Yeah, the basics. Okay, I'm, this is all starting to come back to me now. So I need to build some things before I can get up into a tier to do other things. Let's start with something very, very sensible, like a road. We all like roads around here. How about we put a road from, say, like the river over here all the way over here? Okay, somebody go and build all of that. Are you guys going to go and build all of that? What is it that you do around here? Why are you just... What is your problem? What are you doing? You, the sheep is stealing food again. The sheep is already stealing food. Food, uh, Vincent rather, excuse me, not food. Your name might be food, I might change it later. But Vincent, actually, uh, Vincent, can I change your name to food? Yes, I absolutely can change your name to food. So your name is food now. Don't take it personally, it's just a thing. Could we get some housing put together here? What have I got? A gatherer shack, forester stump, stonemason, and a fishing place. How about housing? I've got a straw hut a campfire, and, and the street. All right, well, let's get some straw huts going on then. So let's put these up, say, right next to the house. Now, this holds two people. I've got ten, so let's put five of those up right now. My memory of Circle of Kurzovan, or of Life and Land, however you choose to remember it, is it takes a really long time to get things built. I recall letting this just sort of slide by in wicked high speed mode. In fact, I'm going to boost this up right now. And uh, it took a really long time for things. I mean, they're building stuff, but, you know, they got five houses to put up. Let's put up uh, the campfire because that seems like a thing that people want to have. How about we put the campfire up right over here, sort of right next to all the houses so we make sure those get burned down very, very quickly. And then just start slapping everything up. A gatherer's shack. Okay, pan out, because, yeah, you've got a radius of what things you're going to gather within that radius. This looks pretty good down here. It looks like you've got a lot of bushes and, like, fruit and stuff you could do. I'm going to throw that guy down there. Can I prioritize that? Can I say, do this first? I can. 
Okay, why don't, oh, never mind. They're already on it. They've already put all the materials on there. But I am going to prioritize that. Let's make that make sure that we start getting some food in very, very quickly. And speaking of food, we also saw a fishing place. Well, that seems like a thing we should have. How do we make this work? Is that green good? Yep, green is good. Okay. Can I make the road go down the hill? Is that allowed? No, you're just going to go down the little ramp here. Okay, that's fair. However, you do clearly favor the roads. So probably, I would guess, you move faster if you're on a road. So I'm just going to keep that road going in there. Nice little circle over here. Make sure we can all get easy access to the roads. Anything happening? No. Now, how about this forester's stump? You also have a radius. Well, there's a lot of trees kind of up here-ish. Will that cover... Yeah, that'll cover most of the forest. Is there a better spot for this? Actually, not really. That's probably our best spot. In fact, the best spot would be to put it right in here. That seems like a very long walk for people. But there is the most trees over there. So let's get that going. And let's just keep that road idea coming from here down to here. Now, Sylvia was whining about being naked. I could put up the rudimentary tailoring table. But I'm not super sure where we're getting cloth and stuff from. So, can I... Okay, you're building... Requires, like, fiber or something. What is this? Grass. Okay, and branches and raw wood. And that's cool. But where are we getting... Well, wool would come from sheep and leather would come from, well, whatever we feel like slaughtering. Grass we have zero in stock and rags we have zero in stock. I think, again, stretching my memory, not a little bit here. But I think... We make the rough rags from grass. So if Sylvia is all bummed out about being a nudist, let's get the tailor. Oh, hang on. Did I just put that right on top of the campfire? Kind of, yeah. Um, the camp, oh, the the camp, the the camp, the ca the campfire is reluctant to want to move anywhere. Okay. Uh, well, that house is going to have to burn down then. And I got to assume with no other jobs on the docket, everyone is a builder right now. Right? Can I see what your vocations are here? Sylvia, Dennis, where's food? I want to talk to food. Where is food? Food's all the way down at the bottom there. What is it you're doing? You need some rags and you need a house. I get that bit. How about census? Nope, that's just animals mostly. Buildings, well, we've got the forester's stump up and nothing else. Somewhere in here, there is, that's the faction data. Again, the sheep are stealing more food. There's got to be somewhere in here where it tells me who's doing what at any given point. I'm renegotiating a couple of things here just because the, the campfire couldn't be moved, but I demoed the buildings around it just to make sure the campfire is going to actually work. Let's put another house here. Yeah, that'll make up for the one I demolished. Okay, how are we broadly doing here? We've, we've, we're, wait, we're waiting on a lot of material. Is everyone kind of having a nap? Is that Where is everyone? No, like, like for real, where, where, like Matilda, where, where are you? Follow the target. You're over here. You're having an, oh, you're all sleeping under the trees. What is that? That is a red deer. Can I target you for execution? Just, you know, for having, for having the conversation. Wait a minute, you're dead. Oh, can we just eat you? I'd be simple. I don't see like a butcher's table that I have access to immediately. I don't know if they butcher things by hand or if they need a specific spot for that. But I should probably put up the hand mill and the oven. Can I grow anything? Trees, trees. Now we're good on trees, although fruit trees would be handy. Could I grass? Okay, sure. Animals do love grass. You ain't wrong about that. Wheat. That seems like food. Actually, garden bed. If we take care of the garden, we'll get lots of roots, berries, and some grass. The sheep are still field stealing food. Okay, could we do, um, like, maybe behind the houses? We could have a little row of, of a garden bed over here. That could be nice. So if I do, it just goes like a road. Okay, put that up. That seems fun. A while later in high speed mode, and they finally got the gatherer's shack up and running. Does somebody work here? Dennis and Petra are in here. And I could add another position. I think just Dennis and Petra are fine. They were very excited about the gatherer shack. Like, we can't wait to start gathering fruits and roots and grass and things. Like, we're so excited about this. Dennis and Petra are a solid team. If you're looking for somebody who can rip grass out of the out of the ground 
and put it somewhere else. Dennis and Petra are your go-tos. I'm just kind of letting it tick along here so we can get... There we go. There's one house. Uh, another house looks like it's almost done there. And, okay, the table is up and running. That's cool. Would love to see less homelessness if we could manage that. Well, some of the garden beds are up and running. Now, does that require a worker? It not appear so. It doesn't have, like, an employee tab. Okay, and it's got good soil. So, growth phase... I don't, was that a tree? No, no, it's growth phase nutrients. No water. Okay, so we probably need to water this thing. I'm sure we can get water from the river or something. And then temperature. And the last thing it produced was grass and bark roots. And right now it's got a little bit of bark roots in it that we could, I assume, go and get. Uh, the housing situation is less than ideal right now. Wait, that was Dennis? Oh, Dennis, go go gather some stuff, man. How about the tailoring table? Uh, Luca's in here. Okay, Luca's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put some clothes together for you guys. How about that fishing spot? Did we ever get going over here? Sani is over here. Sani is our local fisher person going out getting some fish. And the woodcutting place has been up for a while. Matilda is in charge of woodcutting. So what I'm going to see pretty soon is probably full employment. In that there's, you know, there's not enough workers for all of this. But still, they're whining about homelessness because they won't build their own houses. Now, why do you have a question mark over you? What have I not done for you? Activities. Ah, I need to tell you what to do. So a maximum of three rags. Sure, that's, that's broadly fine. Should I make more of this? Oh, no, that's just priority. That's fine. Okay, this all seems to be okay. We're going to make a max three of everything when we eventually have it in stock. So we need rough rags for all of this. So grass will get me crafting rags. Cool. That sounds like the sort of thing that we might be able to wear later. Okay, what else could I be doing around here? What do I not have up? Apart from, you know, obviously housing. What else is in production? There's that simple oven. And I could get the mill going on. So I don't think we actually have... Well... We don't have any wheat, but we could start growing some wheat. Is this wheat? This is probably wheat, isn't it? Oh, yeah, there's wild wheat over here. Okay, so we probably don't need to grow our own right now. That should be well within range of the gatherer's hut. Okay, well, let's put up the mill and, you know, just kind of see what happens. Also, there's only 0.1 days left until we run out of food. This is probably because the sheep have been stealing all of it. That, that doesn't sound good. The, the whole not having food thing. That doesn't sound like a good thing at all. Get that sheep out of there. He's going to steal more food. We've only got 0.1 days left. Are we fishing? You guys want to do some fishing? I see the gathering's going great. Stefan's over here. That's that's food. Both in name and in task. Okay. Um. Well, I'll just let you guys get on with it then. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing over here? Okay, we can be making food here. Grilled meat. Bread, fruits, vegetables. This is all good stuff, yeah. I don't think we have any of this yet. Is that dead deer still over here? Because I'd really like... Yeah, it is. It's in there somewhere. I... Oh, wait. That might have been a tree. Yeah, that was a tree. Never mind. That was not a dead deer. That was totally a tree. Emergency over. That was not a deer. Just a tree. And I'll set up the stonemason just because the game wants me to, frankly. Although, where are we going to get stone from? Is this... That's, that's a lake, Dave. That's not where you get rocks. I mean, there's probably rocks in the lake. I'm not saying there's not rocks in the lake. I'm just saying that's probably not primarily where we get rocks. I don't actually really know where we get rocks. I mean, you clearly got a radius like all the other gathering and, and production things. I'm just not sure where to put you. I'm going to optimistically put you over here and hope that we get rocks out of, you know, the big rocks. Okay, it looks like we are indeed making rags down here. People are coming back and forth, bringing materials, and then bringing rags away. You're bringing something in here, and it looks like you're probably making rough rags. Okay, now that we've done all of those things, have we unlocked anything new that I should be aware of? Decorations, that's cool. I, I love decorations. Nobody loves them more than me. Maybe not our priority, though. Packages. Oh, it's just a decorative package. Okay. What do we do to get firewood? Oh, hang on. There's a thing for that. There's a thing. There's the one thing you haven't put up yet, basically. Stonemason fishing, stumps, and the sawing place. There we go. 
What if that lived probably close to the woodcutting place? That would be super sensible. Put that over by the road there. I'm not sure quite where we got it from, but I think we just made some grilled meat because that bar was going red and then it disappeared, indicating that we might have actually finished producing something. I'm not sure where we got that from, though. Why are you sleeping over here, Sylvia? You should have a home. We should be well covered with home here. So, yes, we've got humans. Petra and Sani live over here. There's S Sylvia, your house is right here. It's at the end of the street. You've got a lovely garden behind it. Yeah, I think fish is definitely happening because we're getting little meat symbols popping up over there. So now we're up to 0 0.3 days of food, which is slightly more encouraging. We've got fodder if we wish to get some animals. Is that a thing we should be doing? Should we be domesticating animals at some point? Is there a way for me to do that? Is that just sort of the, the, the fence thing? Perfect for keeping big animals on one side. Well, that sounds like the sort of thing I'd like to do. I just don't know if I can surround my entire area here in fencing. Ideally, I'd like just like to solve the theft issue. This is my food down here, right? Yeah. Why is this all the way down here, by the way? Well, why am I all the way over there? That's the, that's the bigger question, really, isn't it, Dave? Ah, however, we have now unlocked some new things. Hunting large. Simple barn. Shelter food and water for animals. Specific animal products can be obtained. Cool. A well. That sounds really, really smart. Uh, potter's workshop. That's cool. That would help with uh, carrying water. Let's start simple. Let's do a well. Uh, right by the campfire. That actually seems like a great idea. Put a well right over there. Have we unlocked anything else? We've got cheese. I don't think I have anything to make cheese with, but we've got cheese. We've got a small cabin, all right? A community center. Well, that sounds fun. A place to talk about politics. Oh, that doesn't sound fun anymore. I do like the idea of planning complex projects, though. That sounds like something we should do. And a cesspit. Okay, yes. We should probably put a toilet up. Hey, don't put it right next to the well, Dave. That might, um, that might backfire on you. Let's start running some roads to these things, too. So, road to there... And road to there. Okay, there's a nice easy walk to the toilet now. And you know what? Uh, we got a nice little path over here. Why don't we bring this to here and this to here? Okay, what else have we unlocked here? Nothing there. And nothing doesn't look like there's anything new in the agriculture. So I don't think we need cheese right now. Much as I'd like it, I don't think we need cheese. That hunting lodge, though, that sounds great. That sounds like something where we're going to go kill animals and then bring them home, and then eat them. I'm gonna put that guy right up by the woodcutter, just because it seems right, you know, out in the forest here. And you know what, while we're here, let's just get another bit of road going right to there. And what else do we have? Simple barn. There's, I mean, it's gonna take them like years to build these things, but in the meantime, could we get maybe the simple barn to, I think, I feel that should be in town. That should be sort of right here-ish. Now, just for having the conversation, does somebody need to be in charge of the cesspit? Yes, apparently they do. Hire or fire workers, but I don't have any option to do that. Maybe it just sort of takes care of itself. It is largely a hole in the ground. So is a well, but one of them you want to take things out of it, and one of them you want to put things in it. Does the well need somebody? Do they need an employee? Eric is in on this, and I've got a little pop-up over here saying that people can have multiple jobs. So, Erica, you're only in charge of the water right now. At least you might be. I have no idea what else you may do around here. Could you maybe, like, be in charge of the mill? Oh, Erica is in charge of the mill. Oh, wow. That was a complete coincidence, Erica. That was shocking to me, as it was to you. Okay, so she's got water and flour covered. Great, she can make glue. My barn's done. What do I do with this? Okay, it's vacant, so somebody could work there. What if we took... Where's food? Food, you look like you only have not much to do. Food, you work here now. Now, what do I do with it? How do I get... How do I get animals to live here? Right now, it's set up for sheep. Great, that's fine. Do we just go get a sheep? Is that how this works? Because that would be wool, and that would be clothing. I'm just going to keep an eye on food and see what he does for a living. You know what? That gatherer's hut is not actually within range of the wheat field. It's just outside of it, and I don't see any wheat here either. I mean, there's wheat over here. I get the fact there's wheat over here, but I don't know that we're actively getting it. 
wonder if it'd be worth moving. Can I move a hut? Can I put this somewhere other than where it is? I can rename it, I can follow it, or I can demolish it. I don't really want to do any of that. I'd say I should just put up a new one over here, because there's plenty of good stuff over here, including wheat. But, I don't really have the workers. I've only got the ten people, and there's a lot of jobs. Do we have sheep? I don't think we have sheep. We clearly do not have sheep. All of these spots are, in fact, vacant. How do we... I'm actually going to take this down for the first time to slow speed. Not actually pause, but slow speed. How do we go about acquiring sheep? So, show me a sheep. Any any sheep. That's a person. There's a sheep. There's a bunch of them down here. Okay, so one sheep. Can I take you and just sort of put you somewhere else, basically? How, how do we... Sheep... How do we... how do we go about doing this? Well, if there's a way to do it from the sheep menu, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go back to the barn. These are vacant. Okay, I don't want to slaughter anything, because I don't have anything to slaughter. Activities, I get all the harvesting things, and population control, we'd slaughter them. And Sani is working here. I'm just not sure what Sani does in relation to the sheep. Does Sani go out and get a sheep? Does a sheep come by and say, hey, this looks like a pretty cool place to live. I'll live in this barn. Hope I don't get slaughtered later. Hell, winter just smacked us in the face. Holy moly, it just we just got demolished with snow here. That's got to make everyone miserable. I bet you we don't have enough clothes to, to satisfy anyone at all. Uh, where's food? Come here, food. I want to talk to you. Uh, where, where are you right now? You're over here doing a th You're looking for food. Okay, and now you're going to go to sleep. What are your needs? Yeah, you're cold. Yeah, you can, you own rough rag. Oh no, you want to own rough rags or better. And we've got nothing right now. We've got absolutely nothing for you. Okay, I will vaguely see what I can do, although I'm not really sure what I can do. Now that's odd. We've delivered wool to the tailoring bench. And we've got two basic clothings right here. Cons does, oh, no, now we don't. Somebody went in and took those. And now we've got one back. Where are we getting the wool from? Is the tailor going out and getting that from sheep? Because again, we, we don't have any sheep here. Oh wait, yes we do. We have sheep here. Never mind, we've got three sheep here. Okay, so I guess that vaguely answers my question in that Sandy at some point went out and said, you know what this barn needs? Sheep. Alarmingly though, we have no food. We have exactly zero food. Should I maybe... I was going to say, should I put someone in the fishing spot? It looks like this might be ice. Nope, nope, there's fish still in there. There's fish still... I just saw... I thought I saw a sheep just skating across the top. Should I put somebody else? Ah, there's only one. No, I don't want to fire Sandy. Sandy's doing great work over here. I think. I could upgrade it. So, feeding efficiency plus 40%. And that's just five branches? Oh yeah, do that. Passive feeding slowly releases food over time. Well, that sounds really good. That sounds like we could just sort of do auto-fishing. Can I have that? All right, I got two upgrades there. What did I pass on? Storage. Okay, that, that I'm actually glad I passed on that one. Of the three, that's not, not the worst one to lose. Do we have four sheep now? Please say yes. No, now we only have two. Sani? Sani, where did the other sheep go? Did you lose him while you were fishing? I'm getting the feeling we should have stocked up on food a teeny tiny bit more before winter because there's, there's no food on the map. These are all given up leaves and branches, and that's great, but we can't survive on leaves and branches. Any food over there? There's one cereal over there. One. One unit of cereal over there. How about over here? We've got... Okay, there's some roots and sprouts over there, and some fruit. I would assume that our garden bed is pretty much toast. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's nothing going on in there. It's all covered in snow. We're not going to get much out of there. Maybe a little bit, but not much. Um, we totally... Totally should have stocked up on food. So, those sheep are looking pretty tasty right about now. Um, how about we slaughter that one? Okay, just take that guy out. I'm sure we can find more. Did somebody die? Because I've only got nine people now. Please tell me it wasn't food. It was food! Oh, food! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We lost you. You were the minor hero of this little expedition here. And I do mean minor. You were a very, very minor hero in the grand scheme of things. Apparently, food is gone. I don't know if food 
died or if food just buggered off. I probably would too in this colony. Oh, no worries though. We slammed right back into spring and the wheat just immediately popped right back up. So we've already, we already got 0.1 days of food. Uh, that just got eaten by somebody. Now we're up to 0.2. Somebody will probably come in and eat that because we're probably all starving here. But spring is back so, and food is starting to be put together here. Is there anything else that I haven't built that I probably should be building? We've done the hunting lodge. I, I take that back. Actually, we haven't done the hunting lodge at all. Are we going to get this done at some point, guys? Can we prioritize that, please? Now, the big issue with the hunting lodge is the rocks. I probably should be putting up another stonemason, but they're lumping these things in one at a time here. It's end of spring, almost summer, coming towards fall, actually, and we're not even close to getting the hunting lodge done. Eight rocks. One, one rock at a time. If we're very lucky, we might get the hunting lodge up before winter hits. Hunting lodge finished just in time for winter to slam right in. Is anyone working here? Yeah, Luke is in here. Luke is like, yeah, I'll, I'll slaughter a few animals in the woods for you. Try and keep us fed throughout the winter this time so people like food don't die. We are up to 0 0.4 days of food, which is the best we've ever been, so... Gotta figure that's pretty good. Hopefully we get... There's winter right there. Hopefully we gathered a lot of stuff over spring and summer and stored them somewhere. And do we have any sheep we could be slaughtering? Yeah, in an emergency we could take out a few sheep for some food there. But I think that's an excellent place to call it on this look at of life and land. Or Circle of Krizovan, however you choose to remember it. I'm not really seeing anything different from the last time I played this. I think it's... It's really just title change. It's just uh, had an odd title change and been shipped back out to, well, people like me. But there we go. We've taken a look at it of life and land. Do please let me know in the comments what you thought of this, guys. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. But maybe we close the door during a zombie apocalypse cinnamon, huh? It's just basic security technique. If the door is closed, cinnamon, cinnamon, the zombies are gonna have to work harder to get in. What you've done is put up a big sign on the top of your roof here that says, hey zombies, this way for food. All right, is there an actual fire or are you just telling me that fire is a thing that exists? Because I'm very familiar with that. Fire loves me and it wants to be near me at all times. And I'm pretty sure they're trying to beat him to death with a baguette, which is less effective than you might commonly think it would be. I have created epic fruitcake. Those words have never been uttered in the entirety of human history. That sentence has never come together. I have made epic fruitcake.